Hello and welcome comrade, this is Geralt and I present to you tutorial 17 for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. If you don't want your citizens to freeze, you better watch carefully. The topic for today is heating and seasons. In case you want to check the previous tutorials, the link with the playlist is in the description of the video. Now build a heating plant. Okay, we have a few small villages, I would say. <laughs> we'll not even call them towns here, so let's see what we're going to do about that. Heating. Heating plants. We have small heating plant and heating plant. 42 gigajoules is that probably? 210. Oh, I think the big one is definitely more efficient. Produces six times more heat for only four times the coal. And it takes four times the workers, so it's definitely better. You're doing great. Let's see, that's probably going to cause some pollution if it's going to burn coal. Draw the infrastructure as it is marked in the scene. Drawing. Okay, we have to connect our plant, obviously. We need to deliver the coal. That's one thing for sure. Purchase a coal for the heating plant. And also fires, I'm pretty sure, uh, can happen here. Now that the coal is coming, it's probably going to start working. Build a small heat exchanger in CT1. Okay, so we built... We built... We bought the coal for the heating plant. We have three workers. We have electricity. Ah, uh, there we have more workers coming, which is great. And that's going to start uh, producing heat as long as we build some heat exchangers. So this produces the heat, and the heat exchanger delivers the heat. Small heat exchanger, small heat exchanger. So there is... What's the difference? The building type? How it looks? I don't see any other difference. Ah, there is also heat exchanger which is big, but... Small. Yeah, so it's how the building looks, I guess. Ah, and the other, one, the, uh, the other one has a footpath. Good. Doing great. You need to build a pipe now, probably. You should check whether the exchanger's hot water tank capacity is sufficient for the supplied buildings. The sum of the connected buildings' tank capacity shouldn't be exceeded. Okay, so we have connected all the residential buildings, plus this is a shopping center, yes. And total capacity is 33, or total needs that should be, and the capacity is maximum 100. Estimated maximum drain. Considered if buildings are connected to multiple exchangers. Ah, interesting. Okay. Connect the heating plant with the exchanger. So now we have to build some pipes. Underground small. So we have small pipes, big pipes. Small pipes take 100 per hour. Big pipes take 300. And how many outputs? Oh, we have plenty of outputs in the big one. That should be plenty, right? And it can produce 1000. Right, let's see. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, hot water, hot water tank 1000. Yeah. Okay. Let's put some pipes here and connect them to the heat exchanger. Perfect work. Build a heat exchanger needs near city 3. Let's build a bigger exchanger there because city is bigger. Yeah, it has more residential buildings. And here, ah, it actually has the little um, footpath symbol here, so that's the difference as we previously discussed. You're doing great, comrade. Build a heat exchanger needs city 4. The city is small, so, so yet let's use a small one. Okay. 
Let's see how the capacitors are. Ah, uh, here we are doing good as well, yeah. Here as well. Do the heat pumping station. I guess that's needed if the pipes are too long. Could work. Ah, no, they're going to be used to split. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Because we're going to bring a big uh, pipe. Here to the pumping station, and then we're going to take small ones. Ah, no, this one has to be big, yeah, because we have more than 100. But the other one is going to be small because it's uh, a small exchanger. Perfect work. This one needs electricity, yep. Build an electric substation near the pump station. All heating facilities need electric power. Don't forget about that. Mm, as I said, building is without power supply. There we go. So now we have... Oh, the heat exchangers as well are taking it from the substation. Interesting. Build electric wires to connect the switch and the substation. Oh, and we have snow. Build a technical services office. When the road is covered by snow, road vehicles will move, move much slower. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay, so now, just to... Uh, summarize. We have a heat producing building, which is the heating plant. Produces 1000 here. Needs electricity, obviously, and coal. And creates pollution, with that in mind. We are extending some pipes from that to the heat exchangers, which deliver the heat to the buildings. For example, here you can see we have heat inside of the building. And buildings like um, power plants or other industries, they don't have heat needs, only the residential or community buildings need that. Okay, you can also use a pumping station in situations where you want to split, let's say, a big pipe to a big and a small one or something of the sorts and deliver to multiple heat exchangers with one main connection from the heating plant. Now it, the interesting question is what is the... I think it's something like a kilometer, the maximum pipe that you can do without a heat pump, but I might be wrong. And here we have the heat exchanger which gives you the capacity for or the needs of all the buildings and your maximum capacity here is 300 so we are doing good. All right let's do the technical services. Do I have to place them here? Or I had to choose something else? Ah no, oh my god. <laughs> Boom. Good work, comrade. Buy a snow plow. When the road is covered by snow, road vehicles will mu move much slower. As you can see, 38 kilometers per hour. Mm. I actually am surprised that they can even move at all. Depends how much the snow cover is, right? Uh, what were we supposed to do? Buy a snow plow. There we go. You're doing great, comrade. Ah, and you can see here what it can cover. Which is plenty. Office working range and you can increase the range on top of everything if you want. Yeah, and we covered this little area here that was not covered previously. And there it is! Cleaning the snow from this road. It's amazing. I mean, it's kind of funny that it cleans in both ways. Uh, so it cleans more here and less there. What's the deal with that? Maybe it needs to go back to the other side, yeah. To clean from the other side. No, here it's cleaning again both sides. Okay, cool. What is it? It doesn't have... No. Actually, fuel is not turned on here. Ah, so that's that's cleaned here? That's considered cleaned. Okay, good to know. Heating is very important. 
very very important because aura if you don't create heating and obviously if seasons are enabled and heating uh, your citizens will uh, hate you and they're going to leave and they're also going to die so you don't want that great now that everyone is romped up and seasoned it's time for you to share your thoughts on these mechanics the comment section is all yours don't forget to leave the video a big thumbs up and click the subscribe button thank you for watching and see you in the next one